this track that I created is very different from anything I've ever done. Anything in Gavi's history, uh, whether it was me as a producer or me as an artist. I got into a lot of disco music. I just started listening to a lot of old stuff that I just loved because it was coming back into the industry. You know, I realized all the disco music was so happy. Everything was in major chords. It was just fun and bright and just beautiful. I was like, I need to make a, a disco-y song that feels great to me. So, this song started off with this. And we're just talking about disco music and how chords could dance around a simple melody. So then, this is what happened after. And then the chords just kind of brought it up. It was kind of epic, just happy. So I have this uh, kick that I love to go to all the time. We recorded it live and I use it in the song. So I created a, a kick again, a snare, some hi-hats, and I compressed it really hard so I could sound like uh, it came off of a vinyl, like I chopped it up somehow. Basically the hi-hat just wanted to make sure it had a very uh, huge swing to it. So if you listen to it, you know, it makes your head want to bounce. For this track, I don't want to use any snares. I just want to use a clap. As I'm creating that, I'm like, I don't want nothing to be perfect. So I, I kind of made the, the claps uh, off beat a little bit. So it's not right on the grid. So then the next thing that I was doing was I got to figure out a bass line that just goes along with the drums, the guitar, and just speaking about pulse. And once you have that, it's it's pretty easy from there because now that's the base of the whole song. So I was like, how the heck am I going to make people realize the hook is here? And I was like, oh, let's put some trumpet and brass and trombones on it. So I have a, I have a trumpet background, you know, in seventh grade. I picked up the trumpet because my dad played for uh, the army in El Salvador. And I thought that was the coolest thing. And I was like, I want to do it like you, dad. And then that was like our bonding time, you know, from seventh grade, eighth grade, and so on. Um, and that's kind of how I fell in love with music because of my dad, just seeing the stuff that he did. And I just thought it was cool. Like, he played for the army, <laughs> you know? sounds good and yeah so right when I heard that I was like oh that's the hook so a lot of people know me as a music producer only um, and sometimes I'll jump on a track and I'll do a little singing, but I'm not a singer at all. Auto-tune helps me all the time. I start off with melodies, I'll record something uh, myself. I started feeling like I have a cool tone on the song. So I started off and I'm mumbling, I'm like, I've been on a high note. I know. I'm like, yo, this is so dope. And I'm recording it and um, and I was like, I need, to, I need to sing this at a high key. So the highest I'm on there is the highest I can sing. So I'm there, I've been on a high note. I'm yelling it. Uh, and auto-tune does something really cool with my voice. Hey, I've been on a high note. Running on a scale so major. Swerving on a nitro, yeah. Swerving on a nitro. So then I hear all these melodies I'm making. I'm like, I don't even know how to write to these melodies right now, though. 
because whenever you write to a melody you're just you're held into a box by you have to find out how many syllables fit into this melody that you just did and how are you going to sing this word in the form that you were just singing that melody it's definitely very hard to write this song but I wanted people to feel good. I wanted it to be that moment where I'm dancing with my wife in the living room and, you know, we're not thinking about bills or, or just things that go on in life that could take away your happiness. This is definitely that great family song that could live on for years. I know 